Hi, welcome to another edition of Transcribing with the Music Transcriber. Today we'll be looking at my latest plugin called Select Notes in Chord Position. I was asked to write this plugin by a user who was attempting to select two notes in a chord. Sibelius has uh, a few functions built in for selecting notes within a selection. If you were to select all of these chords and you wanted to filter out just the bottom note, you could go to Edit, go to Filter, and choose one of these options. Uh, he wanted to choose the uh, two bottom notes. So the best thing he could do would be go to bottom note, but in that case you only get the very bottom note, you don't get two. Um, another way to filter out uh, is to go to the edit and go to advanced filter, which is under filter. It's the first one listed. Uh, and here the same options are listed in the uh, note in chord, which is the top note, second note from bottom, third note from bottom and bottom note. Now there's no option for selecting uh, multiple notes uh, based on their position within a chord. Um, so this user wanted me to uh, create a plugin that uh, selected two bottom notes. What they were doing was they were uh, taking uh, music they inputted uh, with a MIDI controller that had all happened to come on one staff. But since it was piano music they wanted uh, the bottom two notes to be on the uh, the bottom staff of the grand staff. So uh, I created this plugin, but in doing so, I found another um, of other parameters that would be very useful for this uh, kind of plugin. So let's look at the plugin now. Go to plugins and go to wherever you've installed it. Um, I've installed it in my finished plugins. Go to select notes and chord position, and a dialog will pop up. Let me zoom in real close here so you can see uh, the different options in the dialog. Um, there's a number of top notes you could choose, number of bottom notes you could choose, special combos of notes. Uh, so you could choose based on the specific position of a note within a chord. Um, and then there's a number of functions that you can carry out um, once you uh, select these notes. You could either just select them, you could delete them, you could select them and copy so that when you're done running the plugin, you can just paste them wherever. Uh, and then you could uh, delete and copy them. So uh, it would select the notes, copy them, and then it would delete them so you could paste it anywhere uh, you'd like. Uh, that would be good for arranging voices uh, from a reduction, you know, uh, much like the arrange function, but a little bit more um, of a manual way to do it. So let me zoom back out here. What we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what that user wanted to do. He wanted to uh, filter the bottom two notes, so click on number of bottom notes, and then choose two from the drop-down box. And then he wanted to delete them and copy them so he could paste them on the other staff. So hit delete and copy, then hit OK. The notes have been filtered out, they've been deleted, and they have been copied. So now click on wherever you'd like to paste them. He wanted to paste them directly below. Then go to edit and go to paste. And there you go. It's that simple. Now let's look at some of the other parameters of uh, of this plugin and see what else it can do. So I'm going to undo that for a moment. Keep my selection. Um, note that you have to have a, a passage of music selected, not just singular notes because uh, that's actually doing this manually. <laughs> so uh, make a passage selection. Go to your plugins. Go to um, select notes and chord position again. Now uh, let's look at uh, the top notes. Let's take the first top note and let's take two of the bottom notes. So this will omit the middle one obviously. Click OK and there you go. And I had just um, select on. I didn't have um, delete and copy. That was just a simple select function and then you could do whatever you need to do manually. So let's undo that for a moment. Let's go back to our plugin. Now there's a number of other interesting things that you can do with this. Um, called special combos. So click on your special combo box, which is right there, um, and you'll have another of, number of other parameters you can choose from. These are all different types of combinations that I thought would be useful for this type of plugin. You can choose just to have the outer notes. Now this one's pretty neat because if you were a theory teacher and you wanted um, your kids in dictation class to dictate just the outer voices of a chord progression or uh, just you know two notes, you could create an answer sheet using this. So I'm going to select special combos, which I did already. Then I'm going to choose outer notes. And then I'm going to do um, 
delete and copy because I'm going to paste into another staff to create uh, this little passage of music. Then hit OK. It'll delete them. And let's paste it down here. Let's create four bars. Paste it right here. And there you go. There's the outer voices. Now let's look at another combo that I thought was pretty neat. Um, we need to build a slightly bigger chord for this, though, because I'm going to do uh, a kind of neat one. So let's uh, let's delete this for a moment. Let's create a series of uh, of chords. Actually, you can just I'll just creating large uh, triadic intervals, tertian chords. Um, Okay, that should be plenty to demonstrate my point here. Um, and we can even change the intervals if you really want, so they don't have to be tertiary. Um, okay, make your selection. Go to your plugin. Oops, sorry. Select notes and chord position. Now let's look at one of the other combos. Uh, this one I thought was pretty neat. Inner notes, uh, that's the opposite of outer notes. It's everything except the outer voices. All right, let me zoom in. It might be a little difficult if you're watching this on YouTube or on some other website. Uh, they know the resolution is poor. Um, so in the special combos, you see outer notes, inner notes, which I said is the opposite of the outer notes, um, all the notes except the bottom note, all the notes except the top, and then another two that I wanted to show you that were uh, pretty interesting. I'm not really quite sure uh, why somebody would use them, except if they were trying to come up with uh, different voicings. Uh, it would be kind of neat. So let's go to alternating, starting with bottom. So what this is going to do, it's going to choose every other note, starting with the bottom note. Let's just um, let's just select them so you can see. Hit OK, and there you go. Every other note has been selected. Uh, likewise, we can uh, go to our plugin again, and we can do special combos and go alternating with the top. And this will do the same thing, except it'll start with the top note. And there you go, it's the other notes. So conceivably, you could copy and paste these to one uh, instrument and copy and paste the others to another instrument or group of instruments. Um, and you'll have uh, some rather uh, hands-on um, note extraction. So let's look at the um, final uh, parameters. Go to your plugin. Select notes and chord position. And now you can base it on specific position. Now, you notice when I click on specific position, um, the number of top notes up here is still selected. Um, that's because uh, I thought it would be useful to have maybe, you know, uh, three of the top notes selected as well as uh, the second from the bottom. Um, whereas when you choose just special combos, um, you can no longer choose the number of top notes or number of bottom notes because these are predefined uh, combinations of notes. Um, but between specific position, number of top notes, and special combos, you should probably be able to find uh, all the combinations you're looking for. If not, contact me. Uh, my email is musictranscriber at yahoo if you want me to uh, come up with a version of this plugin for your own needs. Anyway, let's look at the final uh, perimeter, which is this specific position. This is very similar to the built-in Sibelius ones, but here you can use it in combination with uh, the other parameters I was speaking of. So go to specific position, and let's choose the third note. Hit OK, and it chooses the third note in a chord. Uh, likewise, you can also do this for more than one uh, specific position. So let's go to our plugin again, and you could go to the second and fourth note if you'd like. Uh, make sure, like I said, you turn off number of top notes or number of bottom depending on what's selected. Hit OK and this will choose the second and fourth note of the selection. So uh, essentially um, all the things that uh, you can't do with the edit filter options you can do um, with this plugin. So feel free to contact me with any questions, comments, uh, or suggestions. Uh, I can be reached at musictranscriber at yahoo.com.